crazy, man. <laughs> Wichita, Kansas today. Now I've done a lot of trips, sponsored trips, adventure trips, things like that, but this is one of the biggest trips for me personally because I'm signing a new client and it's the client that's going to allow me to expand my business and I'm very excited. Everything that's brought me to this moment to be able to travel, sign people up for my business, I'm very thankful for all of that. I flew to Kansas to get an inside look at how Extrusion Overland is changing bed racks for the better. Using T-slot aluminum and some clever engineering, these guys have figured out how to build one of the best looking and most versatile racks that I've ever seen, not to mention it's extremely tough. It was really easy to see that the guys from Extrusion were extremely passionate about their product. They absolutely love what they do and they love getting out and having fun. I'm really excited about this bed rack and I think I'm going to be adding one to my Toyota Tundra pretty soon. I'm just trying to figure out if I want a low profile one or if I want one that can go over a soft top camper. I'm kind of leaning towards the soft top camper. What do you guys think? Secrets don't keep so easy. Lies hurt so tough. I'm glad that it's all over. If there's no trust. I'm in Wichita, Kansas with the guys from Extrusion Overland. They got a pair of V8 Raptors that we're playing around in and it's a ton of fun. I'll tell you guys more about this trip later. Uh, we're running out of daylight, so we're just gonna go have fun. I'm starting to really like these V8 Raptors. These are nice. <laughs> I'm excited to see them jump. You have second gen shocks, the electronically controlled. Yeah, it's the SDI E-Click. And you know, we have to do a retrofit on the buckets to fit the length of the uh, front buckets, but it's got a, a larger uh, travel in the front, for example, now. And the coolest thing about it now is that they were also revalved, so they're better off-road. They're not as great in the city, but they're better off-road. And, you know, you're, it's not as uh, boat-like, you know, it doesn't sway a lot nowadays. So, pretty cool system. And Bacchus has the stock. The stock, yeah. I think this was stiffer on the road. Yeah. I think yeah. I noticed that. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Jeez. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're crazy, man. <laughs> oh God, dude. <laughs> I'm right here. That was good. Oh, this is the jump. Yeah. Oh, that's huge. But well, we do it from here to there. Okay. So the opposite direction. How can I break when I have no heart to be broken? If this is the end. You gotta get those fiberglass. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> that was awesome. 
These things are so much rowdier with the, with the noise that they make. Yeah. Like it just makes it so much more fun. So incredible. My fan base hates it, but when I, I always say this: if you did that in a Tacoma, you'd be like on your way to a to a uh, to get it realigned. <laughs> like literally, you hit like a tiny pothole in a Tacoma, and you got to go get it aligned. You got. Go off. <laughs> Take my son to class now. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> I don't trust you. I'm not gonna stop filming. I feel like you're gonna. No, I, you know, I'm just gonna take it easy from here on. <laughs> oh shit! Now I can't see. Oh, oh mother! <laughs> <laughs> I did not see it coming. Oh, that's cool. That was awesome. <laughs> okay, I'm back at my very lackluster hotel. And uh, the reason I'm here at this abysmal unit of a hotel is because I was terribly sick. And I wanted to, I want to fill you guys in on the story. This video is going to be all over the place and totally out of order. And I'm really sorry about that. But, um, on the way here, not only was our flight delayed and our plane was too icy to fly, so we had to circle the plane back and get on a different plane. It was a whole nightmare just getting down here. I didn't actually get to the hotel until two and, uh, two in the morning, by the way. But during the flight, I had a chicken burrito and I ended up with food poisoning or something that like as the plane was taking off, I am, damn it, where's my key? Son of a, no, no, please no. Come on, baby. You suck. <sighs> this has been the whole trip. The whole trip. In fact, I think I've had I've had worse trips. This was a this has been fun. The raptor really turned it around for me. It smells like it smells like an alcoholic in here. Like it literally smells really bad. I just had to get my card remade, and at the counter was a very suspicious looking fellow. And uh, he was like, so what do you do? And I was like, I'm a YouTuber. He's like, what's with all the camera gear? And I was like, it's, yeah, do YouTube. And, and now he knows my room number, so what a day. <laughs> It's really not that bad, I'm kind of just joking. I had plans to stay at this other spot and I got really sick and so I kind of like forgot to register or get my hotel. So I didn't reserve my hotel. I get stuck on, a, on multiple delays and multiple turnarounds. Literally our plane was on the runway and they canceled the flight and had to take it back. So we had sat on that airplane for about an hour and a half before it turned back around. And I get in another airplane. Meanwhile, I'm like digesting this giant chicken burrito and I'm really not feeling good. As the plane is taking off, I start to get really sick and I have to get my barf bag out. And then I suddenly just like felt my, like a burble in my stomach. And as I stood up, I ripped ass, went charging down the aisle, uh, bouncing off of everybody, literally like almost the full length of the plane, trying to make it to the bathroom. <laughs> and 
crop dusting the whole plane. And then uh, something about the combination of being sick and like uh, the sweat came over me and I got lightheaded and the plane was taking off and I had been sitting for like two hours and well anyways like I passed out and I slammed like face planted at the back of the airplane it caused a huge commotion I'm a big dude so it had to have been super loud and um, I kind of came to like and, and they were like sir sir are you okay and I was like do not land this plane I'm fine like I just I, I just motion sickness I just called it motion sickness cause, and I don't get motion sick because I literally fly paramotors like I don't I don't get motion sick so I go into the bathroom and I just puke for like the full flight I'm just puking and so finally and I completely forgot about a hotel so finally I get back to the airport and I'm like so sick I'm like oh dude I gotta get a hotel so I just like grabbed like the closest hotel that was like within a decent budget and uh, this is where I ended up and I came here and I puked all night long and I, I normally have a really strong stomach but like this was like like the God help me, please help me type vomiting where you can't breathe and it's coming out your nose. And now I'm like sore, like my neck and my ribs and like my stomach is sore from just retching. And then to top it all off, the reason I'm in Kansas was to hang out with the Extrusion Overland guys. I was trying so hard to be professional, show up and have nice, nice shirts and have all the contracts ready to go. And I was so stoked and I and I cut my, sh my trip short, real short, so I could get in, um, set this all up and head back and continue to build up my office and set up the studio. And, and like my mind is very business focused lately, but it is simply just my luck that I got horribly sick on the airplane and um, ended up in a clapped out hotel. I will give this hotel a 1.5 stars out of 100. Just the combination of the multiple delayed flights, the snow and the ice, the sickness, the retching vomit, and the very loud and sketchy hotel. Literally last night there was a dog barking. All, like all night next door and this lady just yelling shit up shit up and then uh the night before there was like a police encounter in the parking lot and he was getting on the megaphone like this is private property you must leave now and uh i, I got sketched out but then i remember i don't have any of my own vehicles here or anything so i'm just you know just surviving just surviving in kansas but uh yeah so that's my story that's my video and uh i'm sorry i wasn't able to do more with it but i'm excited to uh be bringing you guys more content soon i'm gonna be getting back into off-roading and wheeling and doing more of that more frequently and overlanding again the stuff that you guys and, and i love doing i've just had to focus on this business period and get this all set up and it's a lot you know it's a whole lot you know there's no like one right way to do it. So I've, I had to really focus so that my attention was on the business because it is what matters most to me right now. So <sighs> hopefully tomorrow goes a lot smoother. Oh, I'm so happy to see my truck and to be almost home.